Saturday is, is like a qualifier race, you know? You have your qualifier. So yesterday was basically like, you know, tune and set up to get ready for the big race today. Um, and then the first heat is the qualifier heat, which gets you qualified for the national event. And then the last heat is the national event, which determines the United States national champion. Leading the event so far is the 88P boat, a boat that is steeped in Cracker Box history. So 1961 uh, Patterson Cracker Box, all original wood, B&K Boat Works. We, we fully wrapped it, worked on the bottom. Uh, my dad owns a fabrication shop, so we're able to build our own parts, our own strut, our own cavitation plate front and back. The motor is a small block SB 2.2. We've owned it for 12 years now. It took us nine years to get it back to where it should be. It was no sense, uh, but it's always been 88P. And then we brought it back to original glory of orangutan 88P. Uh, we just put new age technology in it, and kept the old school vibe and the look and everything stays together perfect. With most of the teams freshened up and ready for the final day of racing, the P111 team are experiencing a troublesome morning. Our boxes locked. With the latches down, they opened up those boxes. Had to be raccoon. I think it was ducks. You really think a duck would open up that one? They're pretty damn smart. They oh, no, man, their beaks are pretty strong. With box opening ducks aside, the teams put their boats in the water, and it's time for racing to continue. Once again, the results are the same. The 88P came in on top, with the P111 in second, and the 1P in third. During warm-up, we discovered that we had a blown head gasket on number two and four cylinder. So we've had a little bit of water mixture with our oil. So that, and that messed with my chances of beating the record and everything else. Although we did run strong, we did uh, finish and we took four first places overall. With that problem happening, uh, we didn't have near as much the amount of power that we had on Saturday from running, uh, which you know still didn't matter. Uh, we picked a great lane, we nailed the starts and took the right lanes the whole way around. The boat ran great and still felt solid as hell. Um, we've been a second place boat all weekend, but on the finals for the Nationals, we were right there. Um, we're waiting to see whether we won it or not. Uh, we got chopped off twice in turn one by one of the other competitors. So we're waiting to see whether they disqualified them or not. Uh, they had a little bit of speed on us in the straightaway, but we were eating them alive through the turns. And as of right now, we're in second place. I think we should be in first. Um, you know, myself personally, I've been disqualified numerous times for doing the same thing that something happened to me just now. In the end, officials ruled no disqualifications, and the outcome remains the same. However, the weekend hasn't been a total failure for the P-111 Hooter and P-28 Renegade. These two boats are engaged in another battle, the High Points Championship. And this weekend was just another stop in that race. Every year you run, and at the end of the year, there's an award given for the competitor that tallies the most points. So, and right now, the uh, P-28 is in the lead, and then the 1P, which is also in our 
camp is in third place, so they're trying to catch and overtake the P111, which is in second place. So there's a race within the race, I guess you could say.